The Lake of the Ozarks is a massive body of water located right in the center of the state of Missouri. The lake has over 1,150 miles of shoreline, which is more than the state of California, and it's an awesome destination for people all over the country to visit. I got a chance to spend the better part of a week at the Lake of the Ozarks last summer, and I put together this list of some of my favorite spots to visit. Let me know what I left off in the comments, and let's jump into it. My first recommendation is of course just getting out on the water. While this should go without saying, the best way to experience the area is to be out on the water itself. You can rent boats, jet skis, and other water sports devices all around the lake, so be sure to spend some time cruising the massive waterway. Pro tip, go early in the morning to experience the lake at its most calm, giving you a chance to feel like you're the only one out there. It's pretty incredible how much there is to see at this lake, and you'll only see a small portion depending on where you stay. Also, there are many restaurants along the water that have areas where you can dock your boat or jet ski if you want to grab a bite to eat. I had never done anything like this before and it was a lot of fun to just dock, grab food, and get back on the water. Recommendation number two is Haha ha Tonka State Park. Apart from the lake, Haha ha Tonka is easily my favorite spot in the Lake of the Ozarks. This state park was named the most beautiful place in Missouri by Condé Nast Traveler and I would not argue that. The park is over 3,700 acres in size and has dozens of miles of hiking trails. The standout feature here is the remains of a house that was built in the early 1900s and was supposed to rival a European castle. Unfortunately, not much remains other than the walls, but it's still impressive just to see those and to think about how big it would have been. This park also has a large arch that you can walk to on a short trail, and it has the Ha Ha Tonka Spring, which is absolutely stunning. The spring is definitely something you don't want to miss, although there are a lot of steps to get down and see it. Honestly, this is an amazing park and you really need to experience it for yourself. In case you didn't know, Missouri is known as the Cave State, and my next three recommendations are all caves around the Lake of the Ozarks. First up is Bridal Cave. Bridal Cave is by far the most popular cave in the Lake of the Ozarks. It's located right along the water and you can even dock your boat and walk up to it and take the tour. If you follow this channel then you know I go in a lot of caves, and I can honestly say this is one of the best I've ever explored. The cave features some truly unique formations and some of the best preserved formations I've ever seen. The tour feels very adventurous as you have to duck under some passageways as you traverse back into the cave itself. I loved this cave and I was blown away by how impressive it was once you get past the first few rooms. If you can only go to one cave in the area then it should probably be Bridal Cave. My second recommendation is Jacob's Cave. Jacob's Cave is located in the northwest area of Lake of the Ozarks. It's further away from the main towns that are near Bridal Cave. Because of this it gets less visitors, but it's still a great cave to explore. This cave was actually the first commercial cave in the area to be open, so it has a lot of history as well. The cave has lots of impressive formations featuring some areas with water, and rooms where the ceiling seems to be covered in soda straws. I was in this cave for about an hour and my tour guide was incredibly knowledgeable about the cave and the surrounding area. It was a lot of fun to explore and a great second cave to see near the Lake of the Ozarks. My third recommendation is Stark Caverns. The last of the three caves I visited was Stark Caverns and like the other two this one was also impressive in its own way and easily worth exploring. This cave has been voted one of the best in Missouri and they have been giving tours for over 70 years. What's really impressive about this cave is how much water there is inside of it. As you enter the cave, you walk on a bridge to cross the water below you. On the way back into the cave, you'll follow water, and there are areas with little waterfalls as well. The tour was an hour long, and you got to see everything from a moonshiner's area to a wishing well. Along the way, there's lots of great formations to see, and it was a great tour as well. Honestly, all three of these tours were worth doing. Lastly, here's a historic recommendation to visit in the area, Bagnell Dam. Built in the 1930s, Bagnell Dam is an engineering marvel and it's worth seeing in the area especially if you like history. There's a good overlook from the town of Lake Ozark where you can see the dam, but it's pretty impossible to get close without a boat. You can also visit a small park which is known as the Bagnell Dam Historic Site and which has plaques and lots of information on the area and the dam's history. While there, also head over to the Wilmore Lodge. This historic log building was built in 1930 and it's beautiful to see on its own. Inside the building there's a small museum on the dam and how it was built which features a few exhibits and a movie. The lodge has a beautiful garden and lots of outside paths that will take you down to great viewpoints of the lake. 
so don't miss out on it when you're exploring the area. That's it for my recommendations in Lake of the Ozarks. Let me know what I left off so I can do it on my next visit and we'll see you on the next video.